All right, I'm finally finished getting my Bob Dylan collection organized and I'm ready to share it with you. And let me tell you, there's a lot of it. So let's get started. Hey everybody, my name's Kyle and this is Track by Track Music Reviews, News and Commentary. And lately, Bob Dylan has been the big topic of the channel with his brand new studio album, his 39th studio album. And I thought that this would be a great opportunity to revisit my Bob Dylan collection and, and uh, do a collection tour. where I've done a few of these here on the channel of some of the artists that I have a, a large library of, but nobody do I have more content from than Bob Dylan. He takes up literally more uh, square footage in my music collection than any other artist. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through all of the Bob Dylan music in my collection. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, as we talk about the studio albums, I've divided them all up into decades so that we can kind of walk through his six decade career. Let's get started. And where we're going to start is with Bob Dylan, the original mono recordings. This is a really nice box set that I've got that contains the uh, eight original Bob Dylan albums in mono. And so you have, here is the self-titled Bob Dylan, the freewheeling Bob Dylan, the times they are a-changing, another side of Bob Dylan, bringing it all back home, Highway 61 Revisited, Blonde on Blonde, one of the greatest albums of all time, and John Wesley Harding. And then this comes with a really nice full color book as well. Uh, beautiful slipcase that all that uh, music comes in. Uh, so terrific to be able to have all of those great albums all in one compact presentation. All right, so everything that you saw in the box set, I actually have uh, repeated uh, as individual CDs as well. So digging into Bob Dylan's first decade of music, the 1960s, we have, of course, his self-titled uh, debut album, Bob Dylan, followed by the freewheeling Bob Dylan, The Times They Are a-Changin', Another Side of Bob Dylan, Highway 61 Revisited, Blonde on Blonde, I actually have two different versions of that. This is the original two records set on one compact disc or the uh, the reissued remastered edition that uh, they split it into two separate CDs, just like the two uh, LP vinyl set. John Wesley Harding and closing out the 60s with Nashville Skyline. All right, kicking off the 1970s, we have Self Portrait, New Morning, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, this is a really interesting one. This is uh, Bob Dylan's Dylan album. This was never released on CD in the United States. Uh, it is only available in the U.S. Uh, as an import, which is what this is here, Japanese import, or the only CD version that was released in the United States was in the uh, complete Dylan albums box set. Uh, this uh, Dylan album was actually a collection of uh, studio outtakes from his uh, New Morning and Self-Portrait sessions. Columbia Records put this thing out without any of Dylan's participation, which probably is uh, one of the main reasons why we've never seen this actually released on its own here in the United States. Next up is Planet Waves, Blood on the Tracks. What a fantastic album that is. The Basement Tapes, Desire, Street Legal, and Slow Train Coming. Moving now into the 1980s, we have Saved. Shot of Love, Infidels, Empire Burlesque, Knocked Out Loaded, Down in the Groove, and Oh Mercy. The 1990s, we start to see Dylan slowing down his output a little bit here. We have Under the Red Sky, Good As I've Been to You, World Gone Wrong, and Time Out of Mind. That's a really great album right there. Now moving into the new millennium in the year 2001, Love and Theft. I have a deluxe edition of this album that comes with the album and then a, uh, a single, a CD single that's got a couple of bonus tracks on it. Fun fact, Love and Theft was released on September 11th, 2001. So quite an anniversary date for that album to have. That's followed by Modern Times, Together Through Life, another uh, nice deluxe edition uh, Bob Dylan album here. There's a lot of cool stuff that comes with this, by the way. So you've got the album on jewel disc here. You've also got a poster, a folded poster of the uh, album cover. There's a DVD, uh, the Roy Silver, the Lost Interviews, 
And uh, Bob Dylan's Theme Time Radio Hour, if you've never uh, heard this, it used to be on Sirius XM Radio, and you can listen to it on YouTube and find downloads of it uh, elsewhere on the internet. Uh, this was a terrific radio series that, uh, that Bob Dylan did in the early 2000s, and there's a sampler disc here of one of the episodes that's, uh, that's really cool. But uh, Theme Time Radio Hour, definitely something you should seek out if you've never had a chance to listen to that. Together Through Life, Deluxe Edition. And finally, closing out the first decade of the 2000s, Christmas in the Heart, Bob Dylan's Christmas album. Moving now into the 2010s, we have Tempest. Uh, this is another Deluxe Edition CD. There's no extra music or DVDs that are included with this, but what you get is uh, this little uh, Tempest Bob Dylan journal. Uh, I don't know that anybody would actually write in here, but there's a lot of really cool uh, artwork, retro artwork in here, Dylan-related stuff that's, that's a lot of fun. Then we get into the uh, trio of Bob Dylan's covers, albums of old American standards music, starting with Shadows in the Night, Fallen Angels, and the three-album set, Triplicate. Which, of course, brings us to 2020 and the 39th studio album from Bob Dylan just out this year, Rough and Rowdy Ways. Uh, it's just so great to see uh, Bob back to original music after doing a few covers albums. Be sure to check out the review of this one if you haven't already here on my channel. All right, moving on, we'll get into the live albums from Bob Dylan. Of course, Dylan was famous for his live shows, but surprisingly doesn't have a ton of official live albums uh, out there if you don't count the bootleg collection, which we'll be getting into in just a minute. So let's go through uh, all the live releases, starting with the very first Bob Dylan official live album, Bob Dylan and the Band Before the Flood followed by Hard Rain, Bob Dylan at Budokan, Real Life, Dylan and the Dead, Bob Dylan on MTV Unplugged. This is kind of a cool one because not only does it have uh, the album of Bob Dylan Unplugged, but also the DVD is included as well, so you get to watch the video for that one. Bob Dylan Live at the Gaslight 1962, Bob Dylan in Concert, Brandeis University, 1963, The Real Royal Albert Hall Concert, and then uh, Bob Dylan Live, 1962 to 1966, rare performances from the copyright collections. This is stuff that they're putting out there to uh, kind of beat the bootleggers once again, as this uh, music that's contained on here would have been going out of copyright protection if they didn't go ahead and uh, release it commercially. All right, you heard me mention it just a moment ago, the Bob Dylan Bootleg Collection, this legendary ongoing series that we uh, seem to see a new edition of every year. And it all started right here with the Bootleg Series, volumes one through three in this really nice uh, slipcase box set here, followed by volume four, volume five, Rolling Thunder Review, volume six, Concert at Felt Harmonic Hall, Volume 7 uh, was the uh, companion release to go with No Direction Home, the Martin Scorsese documentary about Bob Dylan. Volume 8, Telltale Signs. Here's Volume 9, the Whitmark Demos. Volume 10, Another Self-Portrait. Volume 11, Bob Dylan and the Band, The Basement Tapes Raw. Volume 12, The Best of the Cutting Edge. 13, Trouble No More. 14, More Blood, More Tracks. And Volume 15, Traveling Through, featuring the legendary uh, duets with Johnny Cash. One thing that, uh, if you didn't already notice here, is uh, from, from my collection, I have picked up all of the, the double and, and single, I guess, in some cases, uh, disc sets of the bootleg series. I don't own any of the super deluxe sets uh, that got into the six and, and seven, eight disc versions of some of these uh, bootleg collections. The, the double disc sets have been pretty much um, satisfactory for, for my needs in my Bob Dylan collection. All right, finally, let's take a look at some of the Bob Dylan compilations that are in my collection, starting with Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. This is essentially uh, volume one in a series. I believe they have three volumes of Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. I've only got the first one because obviously I've got all the albums as well. Plus, as you'll see in a second, I have several other really good uh, Bob Dylan compilations, including a two-disc set, the very best of Bob Dylan. 
And then the three disc Bob Dylan Biograph uh, Greatest Hits collection. And then finally, uh, this beautiful Dylan uh, three disc box set comes in this uh, really uh, nice box here when you open up the lid uh, inside, nice little classic Columbia logo there. Uh, and as we take a look at the contents, we have disc one, disc two, disc three, uh, Bob's Greatest Hits there. So a little, uh, promotional uh, item there. And then a set of uh, collectible cards, I guess. They're, they're numbered on the back. One, two, three. There's ten of these here with uh, some classic artwork, concert posters, and things like that. Uh, I know back here is an ad for uh, Chronicles, his autobiography, and there's an ad for the uh, Theme Time Radio Hour. So uh, Dylan, the box set, uh, definitely one of the, the nicest packages of, of music from Bob Dylan that I've got in my collection. So there you go. That is my own personal Bob Dylan CD music collection. I have all of the studio albums, all the bootleg collection. I'm pretty sure I've got all of the live albums. Might be missing one or two in there uh, and a number of other great items as well. Uh, one of my favorite artists and, and certainly uh, the artist that takes up the most space, physical space, in my entire music collection. So I hope you enjoyed this tour through uh, my Bob Dylan collection. Let me know what uh, your personal Bob Dylan library is like. What's your favorite Bob Dylan album? And uh, also, what do you think about Rough and Rowdy Ways, the latest, the 39th album uh, to be released by Bob Dylan starting his sixth decade of music making. Once again, my name is Kyle. This has been Track by Track. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Plus check out some of these other videos that I think you might also enjoy. And of course, be sure to click subscribe because true music fans always want new releases the day they come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.